Hey, dude. Yeah. Can I grab a Coke? All right, man, but wouldn't you rather have a Pepsi? No, 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 I'm fine with the Coke, thanks. All right. Your loss. Wait, what was that? Nothing, nothing, man. Just go have some soda. Sure, you don't want a Pepsi. I prefer good soda. Then why isn't your hand on the Pepsi? Because Pepsi isn't good. That was lame. And not as lame as Coca Cola. I see how it is. exact reason why you should have gotten the Pepsi. Well, I don't want to drink a soda that copies the ideas of another soda. Well, we had lemon soda first. Just like we had soda first. Yeah, well, Coke was horrible, so they had to make Pepsi. You're starting to uh, get a little sick of you. Not too fond of you right now, either. Well, you've got a big nose. Why don't we take this outside? Good news for you, pal. We are outside. Well, guess what, buddy? This is happening. Stop. Hello. I'm Professor Bill Rhodes. What you have just seen is a classic example of Pepsi-Coke rivalry, a problem that has been sweeping the nation in recent years. In fact, a whole 3% of violent crimes committed have been because of Pepsi-Coke rivalry. For more on this, we tune into a rivalry expert. Professor. Oh, oh my god. Uh, we're here for the interview. Alright. The uh, Pepsi and Coke rivalry started with the 1950s ad campaign and has been fueling anger ever since. A recent study shows that a person who enjoys Coke and is stuck in a room with a person who enjoys Pepsi is ten times more likely to punch that person in the head. So the Pepsi Coke rivalry tore my family apart. I had two brothers and they have two different preferences of sodas. One Coke, one Pepsi. One day it just got out of hand. Now one's in jail. One's got two fingers. It is even a proven fact that some of sports' greatest rivalries started with the Coke-Pepsi rivalry. Such as the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears, the United States hockey team and the Russian hockey team, and the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, I know about the Pepsi Coke rivalry. I'm doing three to five right now because of it. Me and my friend got in an argument once about whether Pepsi was better than Coke, or whether Coke was better than Pepsi. And I punched him square in the nose. There's just this rage that comes upon you when an argument between Pepsi and Coke comes up. It's really just, it needs to be stopped because it's getting out of hand. And I've talked to, I'd say, close to a thousand people so far in, like, the jail. And uh, I'd say around five of them actually are in four random acts of violence caused because of the Pepsi Coke rivalry. And it just needs to be stopped. Coca-Cola Pepsi rivalry. It tore apart my life. My friend, my my best friend, is in jail now. My 
My nose was broken because of the Coke Pepsi rivalry. I play with G.I. Joe's by myself now. You sit, you sat right there. And there's an empty seat there. No one's there. It's just me. It's just awful what's going on. As you can see, Pepsi Coke rivalry tears apart friendships, destroys families, and can even cause you physical harm. So next time you're selecting your soda, just remember, calm down. Be a chill pump, man. Don't punch the other guy in the head just because he likes to drink soda. Drink your soda and enjoy it. If we can learn to do this, we'll all live in a better world. It's been Professor Bill Rhodes. Have a wonderful day.